San Francisco like led me to think radically just because everyone is their own person here but um, it is visually psychedelic and all the hills all the, all the, all the architecture all the people the eccentrics that are, that are the day walkers and the mutants and the creatures that walk around um, yeah it's, it's a colorful city and it's, it's, it's out there that alone, I think, has some some influence on my music. My music is, is curiosity based, and it's it normally starts with the, with the synthesizers, and, and the synthesizers is, is it's what creates the mood, and then uh, just with experimentation and it feels right, and, and then from there the song kind of builds, and, add, and then I add things that I'm familiar with, like you know, creating beats or or playing bass. You know, I was always intimidated by synthesizers. It just it just seems like it's 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 more of like it's more about science in a way. And so I'm, I'm, I'm more like emotional based rather than logical based. So approaching a synthesizer is it's a little overwhelming, um, but I've always loved the way they sounded. But then I've also found a way to like play it and kind of almost not make it sound like a synthesizer. I, I kind of rather make it sound like flesh or a human in a, in a way. I mean, a lot of people are inspired by looking out the window or hearing you know, cars drive by. And I am inspired by that stuff, but when it comes down to writing, I have to just close the doors behind me. And if I'm gonna work on a project and, and, I, and I give it to the world in a way, um, I wanna give, I wanna, I wanna hit on all sensory levels.